Today is gonna be a little different setting, a uh, different type of, I just want it to be like a chit chat type of thing. It's self care day, and I wanna show you guys my foot care. So I just wanna show you guys what I do for my foot care. So this is my detailed foot care. I do this about once a month, and I'm just gonna show you guys everything, every product. I'm gonna try to link as much as possible. So every single video I have, like if I'm doing a shower routine or anything, Everything is linked below, so you can check there to see where I got everything. You guys are just gonna see everything. And then I wanted to do a chit chat, you know? I wanted to do things that are like, I wanted to do a topic. So you know, self care with your foot physically, mentally. So I wanted to do both of it and I just wanted to sit down. I also have two cameras going on so that you guys can see what's going on on my foot and what's going on up here and i'm not gonna do a lot of cuts i want it to be a little chit chat like a facetime you know okay so as you can see right here right now there's already um like hot water here so the little concoction i put together is i put apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is really good to like detox your foot so all the odor holds mind you i do this once a month so imagine when i'm walking different shoes i'm wearing you know the gym if sweat anything so it just kind of gets stuck in the like on your toenails which i don't like so this kind of this detoxes it i know it smells bad but it does take out all the toxins and i feel a big difference with this it also helps take out dead skin on your foot and then this is just one part of it but to make it like Boom, explode with a lot of things I use mouthwash so I put both of these together I've been doing this for years I'm pretty sure I put this on my channel before but I've been doing this concoction for years and when I tell you every single time it works I'm telling you guys try it but apple cider vinegar and mouthwash and if you can see it's like off brand because why would you get real brand to put on your feet so I suggest you guys get like off brand this is like the kroger brand this is the walmart great value so that i can use as much as i can or i'm just not wasting you know so these two together my dead skin literally floats on top of it i'm telling you but you have to like soak your feet for like 20 minutes to actually get the result and then i'm gonna scrub it and then this is something new i got like my sister had these bath bombs and i was like these smell bomb can I have it? She was like, yeah, you can have it. So it comes in like these, this cute thing. I don't even know. The setup is even cute. But I wanted to do, I wanted to pick one. So today I'm going to pick the natural cream. It smells so good. This is like light natural cream. But this is just an option. I just want it to be soapy. So this is like a bath bomb. I don't know if I mentioned it. But yeah, these are bath bombs. And... Each one of them are, is different scent, everything. It's nothing like to help you. I don't really know, but this is just like for color, fun, soap, you know I mean? So I'm gonna put this in there too. What I'm gonna do is show you guys the portion I put. For the apple cider vinegar, I put about, not too much. Thank you. Oh, another thing is I know apple cider vinegar reeks, smell like 10 cans of what? It smell like 10 cans of bounce that I know it smells so bad, but with the, with the mouthwash kind of covers that smell. So this is doing really good for you, taking out toxins, all the odor, all the jam, all the everything that your toes and your feet hold. So when you put the mouthwash, it kind of like puts it over. So, and then the mouthwash is really good to take out dead skin too. It's not just for the smell. The mouthwash and this though, powerful okay, so i'm gonna put about that much but like this much it's almost done anyway i'm gonna open this i cut all my nails so i don't even have nails to open it but i got it i got it i got it check out the nail score cosplay so i'm gonna put more of the mouthwash in than the apple cider vinegar let's put literally that much so compared to the apple cider vinegar this is way more and I do that on purpose, by purpose, whatever. My sister always yells at me, she's like, it's by purpose or on purpose or whatever. I don't even know. And then the last thing is the bath bomb. It smells so good. And I love how it's white. Last time I did the orange one and my feet was orange. So I'm like, are these bath bombs? The color kind of fades, but this is white. <laughs> Won't make my feet white, right? Ooh, look at that bath bomb. Look at the reaction. 
So I'm just gonna let it sit for about a couple of minutes so that I could like the bath bomb will be will dissolve. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. Yep, during the winter time, I barely shave my legs. What's the point? And it kind of gives you like a little comfort, but I do shave it. I just don't shave it as much as summertime. So, as I mentioned, as I'm soaking my feet in here, I wanted to do a little chit chat. And so the topic for today is, let's talk about hustle culture, okay? So I've always thought about this and I saw myself getting caught up in hustle culture. So basically hustle culture is like working all the time, thinking about working all the time or doing, so if you do something with social media, it's like always like, what can I post? What can I do next content, next content, no rest, sleep, bus, another one. <laughs> hustle culture is you're constantly thinking about work or like trying to achieve something, not giving yourself a break, not giving yourself like a rest day. And I think that's one of the most dangerous things to get into because once you you get burnt out or like you get tired of it, you think, oh, there's nothing else for me. There's no purpose for me. And when you get there, that's a little scary because that's when you lose hope. That's when all of it goes downhill. But I did see myself get caught up in hustle culture because I post a lot more now. I try to keep up with everything. I just post. Sometimes I do not even keep up. I don't even have a calendar of when I post. I just post whenever I want to. So that means if I want to post as much as I can, that means I have to create content every everywhere 2022 i've been 2022 i've been going at it but every single day i catch myself thinking not really doing you know i mean i do it but it's every single second if i'm at if i'm in class even when i'm in class i sit down i'm thinking about the next content i'm gonna create how i can do this how i can become like how i can edit this but it's like i'm not even paying attention to that it's like this next thing next thing next thing on my rest days, so Fridays are my rest days, I'm creating content. One thing about this is it's not as bad because I enjoy it. I enjoy dancing, I enjoy posting. Um, I'm, I'm also a dancer if you guys don't know, but I always, always try to create content. And then one thing I'm scared about is like, am I gonna get burnt out, you know? So with that part, I guess it's not as bad. No, it's bad, still hustle culture, like, whatever you know and there's how hustle culture became to be is like there's a lot of influencers on instagram on everything they're like you gotta work how can you achieve something that you can work okay one person i can think of is i really 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 love this man his name is you know you guys know him steve steve harvey and i always watch his motivational videos on youtube like i always watch motivational videos not just him anywhere but he always pops up but he's like you know you know the phrase i'm gonna sleep when i die like i have to work now that's a little manic but hustle culture of like sleep when i die i do not like that take your rest take your rest because it's not gonna you're not gonna function and you're not gonna do the best you can so anyway steve harvey he always says like uh this is how i got it i never stopped working this 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 when he gets there i'm like we all need a break because breaks also helps us stay organized so it's like once i take my sunday break it's like a reset from my brain from everything kind of like a okay like for this week i i review what i did last week i'm resting I'm, i do self-care sundays but self-care like to be honest it's not only just doing physical things and you know i want to incorporate more of that on like the mental part of self-care on my channel because like doing a face mask and stuff helps but is it really helping up here i don't know i don't think so and my biggest thing with how i try to prevent hustle culture is like i try to see my purpose and everything i do i hear it from god at the end of the night i reset i get in contact with god i and then i just see where he's guiding me and you know oh i want to say this even on the seventh day god had rest so what makes <laughs> What makes people think like working all the time is gonna do something it's just like we all need a reset yeah i just want to talk about a little about hustle culture now let's go let's take a little break and then let me show you guys okay so i've been soaking my feet for about 10 minutes and it you know it feels a little soggy you know you want it to feel like that because you're about to scrape all the dead skin away first i'm gonna do my toes because my toenails and stuff it's already 
like soft so it's easier to cut cuticles and like all the dirt out so <clears throat> i use this thing it comes in like a pack i got it from walmart it comes with like cuticle cutter this and i think it was like five to seven dollars so this has like that pointy part that you can take all the dirt out and then this one also like you can take all the stuff out from your toes like all the things under it um you can also push your cuticles back before you cut your cuticles one thing about me is i really don't like cutting my own cuticles i don't think i do it right if i'm gonna be honest i love how the nail salon does it like i really just need a tutorial or something but it's like how they hold it it's meant for somebody sitting in front of you so they cut exactly how they do it and they cut it so clean because you're in front of them now doing it from here i think it's just it's hard because i i can't even see the other side i'm gonna push my cuticles back and then cut it clean then the last thing I'm gonna do is to wash it with soap like under my toes everything and then I'm gonna put the dove exfoliating to exfoliate my feet and then after that I'll rinse and be done um, I will paint my nails after I get out so after it's dried I'm also gonna take a shower after this so I'm gonna do it way after and then I'm gonna moisturize as I was saying hustle culture to finish it off the hustle culture part let me talk to you guys while I scrub hold on try to scrub every single part especially my toes and like under my toes i just think don't work too hard where you're not even focused you know work as the best you can with the set time that you have so um one thing that i'll say that i love the quote is um not quote but if you at work if you're really hard working at work you're gonna get rewarded with more work so basically, I'm just saying, give yourself a break, a rest, um, reset, and don't try to put everything, try to organize every single thing, you know, your environment, but your mind to write things down. That, that's how I try to keep up with every single thing, school, social media, you know, with work. I have like a side job and every single thing I do, I mean, I don't need to like, you know, I have calendars for everything, but I just try to have a day where I, set it for mainly resetting because hustle culture is just not a, mm, uh. and don't try to listen to everybody that's like if you don't work hard every single minute you're gonna you're not you're gonna fail at the same time don't give yourself too much rest so like work hard you know work the uh, on the best with like school whatever wherever you're at I just encourage everyone to do that because I'm doing that. I think this is enough scrubbing. I, I did every single part under my toes, in between, under it. You just want to get every single dirt. Like that's what I try to aim for because I won't, I mean, I deep, I don't deep clean it like this every day. Since I lift, I tend to get more dead skin, like not calluses, but it's just like with lifting, I wear Converse and Converse shoes is not meant for like walking on it i mean like you know exercising too hard or like running on the treadmill so i do get kind of like just like dead skin i'm gonna exfoliate with the mango and almond this one is the dove and it is level two so it does have more rocks to exfoliate and everything it smells really good too i'm gonna use this one and then i'm also gonna use my exfoliating gloves hold on oh, almost fell whoops so I'm gonna use them with it with my exfoliating gloves. And then from right here, I'm just gonna go in the shower because it's just gonna be messy, but I'm just gonna show you guys. I take about this much for both of my feet because it's, it's a lot. My feet's not that big. I don't have like big feet, big foot. I'm gonna go rinse my feet. Um, actually wash my body in the shower, rinse it with cold water, and then after the shower, I dry it. Then I paint my toes for the month. And then after that, I just try to keep up with it every single day. Um, you know, I file it down before I paint it, every single thing. So that's my foot care routine. Thank you and come again.